this here's a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine who got tangled up with one of them big city insurance companies. This fella from the insurance company was always looking through the claims to see if anyone was trying to pull something. Well, one day he finds this old dirt farmer who had made an awful big claim. Seemed to have worse luck than a Bombay steak salesman. You know, fires, tornadoes, what have you. This insurance fella decides to drive on out to this farm and see what's what. Well, sure enough, the place is in real rough shape. He goes up to where the farmhouse used to be, and it's just a big pile of lumber, looking like it was pulled apart by some big wind. He looks around for the barn, but it's just mainly charred stumps and nothing but some makeshift shelters for the animals. All except the pig who had this real purdy, brand new sty. I tell you, that pig lived better than Ivana Trump. And that pig was in a beautiful, brand new electric wheelchair, which he needed, but would not have no hind legs or nothing. Which got that insurance fella thinking that maybe he had this farmer dead to rights. Mm. So he says, why don't you confess what's going on here with you and this pig. The farmer kind of rears up and says, Virgil ain't no dirty old pig. That pig is the smartest, the bravest, the most wonderful pig in the whole wide world. And he tells him how one night his whole family woke up to hear this pig grunting out in the yard. <coughs> Grunting that woke the whole house up. Next thing he knows, there's this banging at the back door, like some giant mutant woodpecker. Of course, it brought the whole household downstairs just as that pig kicked the door in. So this farmer grabs his shotgun and is about to make some instant bacon. When he notices, there's a twister coming right for the house. The farmer got his family down to the storm cellar just before that twister came and leveled the house. Well, this insurance man is studying this farmer's face. He sure don't seem to be lying, but he still wants to know about that suspicious barn fire. Seems the old Guernsey kicked a lantern over, and that old barn lit up faster than the parson's nose on a Saturday night. There was no way that farmer could have got all the animals to safety by himself, but that pig pitched in and got all the animals out of there. Then just when they thought all the animals were safe, they hear this a baby chicks from inside the inferno. Without a thought for saving his own chops, this pig grabs hold of a burning rope, hoists himself up to that blazing hayloft, gathers up those chicks in his arms, and dives straight into the water truck. A perfect double gainer. Except for the tuck, which wasn't great on account of him having pig legs. At least at the time he did. And the farmer explained he spent the insurance money on the wheelchair because he owed his life and the lives of all his animals to that pig. Hmm. But there's just one more thing bothering the insurance man. How come that old pig don't have no hind legs? And that dirt farmer just looks this insurance guy right in the eye, very serious like, and he says, a pig that good, you don't eat all at once. <laughs> That's a true story. Happened to a friend of a friend of mine. And you can only hope your next meal can do as much for you.